So, I'm getting old. And carrying a really heavy camera is tough. So, I decided to get a new phone. And when I got that, I decided to get this. It's the small rig cross media cross work. I don't know. Small rig cross Brandon Lee cage. It's freaking cool. The great thing about the new iPhone Pro Maxes is they have USB-C and you can use them with external hard drives. So what I did is I got an extra hard drive holder and mounted it on the cold shoe, which is on the cage of the rig. The hard drive holder needs to be part of the kit. It shouldn't be an add-on. So, small rig, you should know this. Come on. The cage itself is really rugged. It's made of aluminium. It's got shock resistant lining on the inside to protect your phone. Weight-wise, it's got, it feels solid, but it's still not heavy. What I was saying before about how I'm getting old, this is important. So I decided to take this little rig out on a little adventure, which I would normally take my FX3 with a monitor because my eyes are really bad. So I need a monitor on it as well. Eh, it weighs a fair bit. It's not too bad, but it still weighs a fair bit. And I thought this might be a little bit better to help me on the bones. Over to in the field, Doug. So I've got to say, using an iPhone to do blogging or all that kind of stuff is so much easier than carrying around a full mirrorless camera or even a freaking like cinema camera. Um, so yeah, I'm just watching so I don't slip over and make a fool of myself. Um, yeah, but uh, using the Brendan Lee cage, small rig cage for cinema, it's great. We're doing really good. We found praying mantis. A few things I don't like about it. The variable ND that comes with it. It's just not strong enough for Australian sun. <laughs> yeah. Um, needs to be another two stops at least. And um, would be nice to have a little bit more security on the swivel on for the, the variable ND. Uh, I've noticed I've gone to change it, um, change the ND strength and found that um, I've unhinged the connector. So it's the connector that needs to be more secure and locked in. Um, it just swivels on at the moment. Like, hmm, I'm, I'm swiveling it off more than not. Anyway, cool. See you back in the studio. Bye. Okay, so I'm back in the studio. Not really, same clothes. Yeah, you, you understand where I come from. Like I said, when I was in the field, there's a few things I don't like about it. One, the ND filter isn't strong enough. The maximum dynamic range in the iPhone Pro Max, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, is about 13 and a half stops. I didn't do the test for myself, got all the information from Gerald Lundun. Uh, so, like, he knows his stuff. Trust him, go and listen to his stuff. Link in the description. Uh, a couple other things I didn't like is that the handles that are quick release are really, really good and they're meant to be going on the top and you um, things like that. But when I've got the, the hard drive set up this way, on the, I can't actually put the, another handle on the top. So that's one thing. It's not a, not a showstopper. So my final thoughts are that it looks good, feels good, it's great in the hand, works really well, put a nice hard drive on it iPhone Pro Max, iPhone, iPhone 15 Pro Max. God, that's a goddamn mouthful. With this setup, it's a filmmaker's delight. You'll be able to create some great footage or capture some great footage and create some great films. So without breaking your back. So for an old fellow like me, great thing. Anyway, that's all I got. Till next time, see ya.